knew I was different. I felt nothing. People would laugh or cry. I never understood why. I taught myself to mimic them. I passed for ordinary. I was 18 when I went to prison for a crime I didn't commit. I learned a lot. All those cons going on about all the people they killed. Mostly lies, but it made me curious. So when I got out, I decided to kill someone just to see what it was like. I shot a man in Trebekah and watched him die. I turned it into art, and that never stopped. All around me are familiar faces, worn out places, worn out faces, bright and early for the daily races, going nowhere, going nowhere, in the tears of fear. Listen, just give the police uh, my f full cooperation. Tell them they can talk to me about anything, then give them nothing. Because look, the deal is this. It was my warehouse that was blown up. So basically, I'm the victim here, am I right? Thank you. Oh, listen, um, Jason calls, let me know. Bye. How's Christina? She's upset. As am I. We both like to know what this freak is going to do to her sister. She's going to be okay. Jason's very close to finding her. Why do you keep saying that? Because the truth is, you have no idea whether Jason's going to be able to solve this or not. And, and it's insulting my intelligence with your platitude. Christina needs reassurance. I, I, she doesn't talk to me, right? She doesn't listen to me. She doesn't listen to you. So well, you, you need to she's talk to her about it. She's not listening to any of us because she's beyond reassurance because she's seen and heard way too much. Including that last altercation where you unleashed verbal assaults on Claudia before she went missing, so now Christina thinks you killed her. I hated that Christina was in that room when I went off on Claudia. I, I, I hated that she had to see me in that light. But she did, and now it's altered her opinion of you. But I, and then I did what you wanted me to do, though, right? You wanted me to stay away from her, and, and I have. Yes. Right. And that worked. That's why she came over here today. She got a new cookbook and she wanted to share it with you because you both enjoy cooking. And what happened? She walked in here and she hears you telling her that her sister's been kidnapped. By a freak who was obsessed with Jason. There's no way to see that coming, Alexis. If your solution is to put the blame on Jason, you've lost her already. Franco is better at making art than his bombs. I don't think he meant for it to go no, off. No, 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 please don't go in. It could be on a delay, Jason. He didn't even the purpose. He, he wanted me to choose. Wait a minute. He told me. What? He, he told me that he was so upset with you because you didn't show him the respect that he deserved that he was going to make you choose between me and somebody else. He, he took Lulu. Say, oh, where? Where did he, he take I, her? He gave me the address. I already called Dominic. If he put me in a box like this, I can't imagine what he's doing to her. I lost it, Sam. I almost killed Frank with my bare hands. 
You said that proves that we're the same. Come on, Jason, that's crazy. You're nothing alike. Just glad you're okay. This model in clay was never supposed to go off. What about Willow? Her bomb was set to go off the same time as yours. Maybe it's not going to go off, just like mine did. And maybe this is all part of his game. He pushes things to the brink of death without without actually having to kill somebody. There's no answer on Dominic, so let's go. Steve, I, I was on Van Estre and I heard the explosion. What happened? I can know myself. I was driving home. This car came tearing around the corner. Guy jumped out, ran right past me into the building. A few seconds later, blew up. Was he, was he carrying anything that could have been an explosive? Uh, he just ran into the building like his life depended on it. Oh, okay. Was, was this guy a uh, medium build, uh, brown, shaggy hair? He knew it, man. He just went in there like, like he knew what was going to happen. I was going to try to stop it. My sister's in there. Alexis. Sam being kidnapped has nothing to do with me or my business. This guy, you know, he's after Jason Christina for whatever. She knows that Jason works for you, and she knows that it's all interconnected. And it's a very painful realization for her. Can you talk to her and, and, and explain to her that I'm not a monster? I have talked to her. I have tried to explain that to her. But you're surrounded by violence. So what do you want me to do? You want me to put a spin on it? I just want a little bit of support, that's all. You and I cannot discount the fact that Christina knows the truth. And, and no matter what your intentions are, no matter how much you promise to protect the people that you love, you can't. They are never protected, and there is always a next time. I love my children, Alexis, I, you know that. I know. And I, I can only do the best that I can do. Sonny, the people that you love and the ones that love you are targets of violence. This is all starting to sink in for Christina, and it's a lot to absorb. This is Detective Spencer, PCPD. I'm, I'm at the scene of the warehouse fire at 234 Bridge. There's at least one person trapped inside. Now listen, tell the rescue units that the top floor has collapsed and access to the bottom floor has been cut off. Okay. Wait, the boots get out! You're okay. No, how, how do you know Lulu's inside? Franco was holding Sam and Lulu on opposite sides of town. He rigged two bombs of golf at the same time. I can only choose one. You let Lulu die? Hurry, Swinelli, what exploded? Did anyone die? Please tell me it wasn't Lulu. Okay, rescue vehicles have been dispatched to a, a Bristol Street address, 234. It was a... A warehouse explosion. Uh, the officer on scene says that at least two people were inside. Does it say their names? Does it give their descriptions? Uh, no, it just says that fire and rescue have been dispatched. There's no other information. Well, who owns the building? Uh, I, I'd have to access the county clerk's office. Could you find that out, please? You said the, the other explosion happened at first in Metropolitan, which was the Corinthos building. I mean, that makes sense that Franco would want to blow that up. But this other building, it could just be a random explosion, like a, a gas leak or some other mobster blowing something up because that's what mobsters do. Maybe... Maybe it doesn't have anything to do with Franco or Lulu, and she's not really there, because she's not dead. She can't be dead. I should have known about this. I should have done something. Max, we have to stop. Spinelli, what if he kills her? What do you say?